Are, are you alright? I'm okay. I just got through a lot of emotions in the past few minutes. Because I thought Lily was dead, but then he wasn't dead. And then I was accused of being a fake friend. And then, and then I realized that Jungle Shark just died. And it was a lot that's happening. I'm just trying to process. It's a very stressful time. I am unfamiliar with Jungle Scott. Well, yeah, I mean, me too, really, but he was one of Izzy's very good friends. Do you remember what happened to Jungle Scott? Um, yeah, he, um, he put him in a box to, to be Willy for the funeral, um, and then he suffocated in there. Interesting. So now Jungle Scott died over a prank that made people really mad. He's right here. Yes. Hi, Ren, by the way. Ren, I'm Baron. It's very nice to meet you. Baron, like with the TH at the beginning. You've got it. Oh, okay. Correct. That's a cool name. Well, thank you very kindly. Um, thank you for checking on me. I appreciate it. It really does, too. What happened that triggered you, Ren? Why were you so upset at this moment? Oh, um. I saw that Izzy was very upset at the same time. Yeah. I, I, I like your stuff, Dan. You're very nice to me when other people are. And I don't know, I, I don't like when any of them die. It's a sad thing, because they all do it. Forever and ever. They're stuffed animals. I mean, who kills stuffed animals? What kind of stuffed animal was Jungle? Um, he's like, kind of like a big bear. A big bear dude, is that who Izzy was holding? Yeah. So, Izzy was holding, unfortunately Jungle Scott was deceased when Izzy was holding him right now. Do we know what happened to Jungle Scott? Yeah, he's suffocated in the... In the prank box. Yeah. Okay, do we know why Jungle Scott was in the prank box in the first place? Um, well, Izzy apparently was trying to prove that I couldn't actually talk to stuffed animals. Um, and I can't, but I mean, no one can talk to stuffed animals except Izzy, but I don't have anything in common with Izzy, so I thought if I pretended to be with the animals, we could have a common ground there. But um, he, he wanted to expose me, so he took Lily and then, and then he pranked me by, by telling me that Lily had died, and, and then they held a funeral for him and everything, and then, and then he pulled Lily out and he was like, Lily's not to animals, and then I had to tell him that I couldn't. I just thought me and Izzy were good friends, and I guess so we're not. That is very unfortunate, and kind of mean it seems. It is kind of mean, right? But it's okay because he didn't kill Willie. Willie's still with us. Are you sure that Jungle Scott is dead? Or is Izzy just telling you Jungle Scott is dead? Maybe he's not dead. Do you think it's another prank? I don't know. If you can't tell, then how are we to tell that Izzy's telling the truth if Izzy wasn't telling the truth about that? Excuse me, can I get him his attention? Please have him in the room. This is extremely important. Thank you. Now I have two suspects. Uh, please, everyone, gather around. So, uh, my research assistant, Ray, and I have been uh, doing some investigations of our own, might I say. Trying to figure out which one of us has been, I don't know, maybe a little bit anomalous. And uh, after some investigations, Rain, would you like to share your findings? So the current proposed theory was that any anomalies created by the IKEA would be kind of a cover-up in and of itself. It would try to blend in, but not have a perfect story. And so we were trying to screen for stories that with inconsistencies or vague ideas. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much my investigation. So the big one I was assigned to do was find like some specific memory, not just like, I mean, I try to get to know everyone, but kind of find a specific memory from before or just before you got into the IKEA. Everyone's checked out except for one person. I don't want to point fingers, but I think we should use the, the little camera on them. Who is it? Who's uh, that? Hi, Ren. I don't think we talked a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ren, I'm so sorry. 
Wait, what? Wait, and if it turns out you're human, then it's fine. And this is this is just one step in the investigation. Yeah, okay? baby. Hey, it's, 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 just hold on to Willie. No, yeah, it's, it's not fine. incriminating. Hey, it, it what if Willie's anonymous? It's okay. Or you anonymous. Hold Willie. Uh, I don't think Willie's anonymous. It's like an extra. It's super painful. Maybe we should have shot her over. It might be. Yeah, that's even more scary than This is true. This is true. So, Willie, what? Ren, you are anonymous. Anonymous? Making overnight oats in here? <laughs> it's wait, just a simple mason jar. Oh, exactly. Just a simple little mason wait, jar, wait. sure. Wait, wait. wait. Check the how are you able to scan her? What am I searching for, Sloan? Uh, check for mason jar. There's we had one scan left. Yes, there's, I know that there's, 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 there's an SCP that's a, a mason jar, but I don't know how to look at it. I know, but I see them all the time, okay? I'm trying to figure out what it looks like. This is your fault. SCP 2103 is nearly identical to a typical American made mason jar glass container. Bingo! When you use the whole physical objects, this place no unusual properties. However, the owning entity may store concepts or ideas into the jar through a poorly understood process. So there's an idea inside Wait, that jar. Maybe that's where your intelligence went. How did you get this? Oh, no. Everyone laughs. That was uncalled for. You just picked it up? You just picked up, up? You just picked up an SCP rep? I like the powder on the outside. She's so what? shiny thing. It's like a toy. She wanted to play with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Unfortunately, because we were all right. But because you had an anomalous object on you, I don't know if my read was thorough. And I don't have any other tape to check again. So, Rand, the man is in the end. So, Rand, my husband, you know. Fine, you're in the clear for now. Hold up, wait. Where do we find more tape? You saw, he said that he used the last of it, did he not? I had one last scan. Yeah, we had one last scan. Yeah, okay. Back to work, everyone. We should do this real fast. Indeed, Rand, you were working right to work. I knew it. 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 I Okay, well, let's figure it out. It's okay, Pam. One point they did this without the technology. Really trusts him to win. I think that's it. Fair enough, fair enough. Sam says that he he remembers everything that's happened since coming to the idea. Uh huh. With the exception of what happens the night of the murder. I'm wondering, he's wondering, if there's some way that the scientists, being intelligent people, can help him to remember what happened that night. So, yeah, well, so the thing is, if it was just like normal memory loss, I would be afraid that we wouldn't have much of a chance of recovering that. However, it sounds like there was probably some usage of their message, essentially these memory wiping drugs that were last night, both on camp and on campus. There's multiple instances of claims of the So, we have amnesia inducing drugs on site, basically. A large supply of them that are in Edgar's possession and distribution with a log of when they are used, as long as the logs are the log, well kept. Is the log also in Edgar's uh, control? That is the case. And so if there's not an entry for using them on Pam, but he's forgotten something, that points a rather insidious finger at Edgar. I would not? agree, John. I would agree. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but in terms of figuring out a cure, I know Dr. Sloan had some specific prior experience dealing with anti-amnestics, essentially a reversal of the memory of the amnesia. I can never pronounce it right the first time, it's nestic. Yeah. It's without the A, it's nestic. Yeah, basically we try to just make it anti-amnestic so everyone can understand it, but nestic is the correct technical term. Yeah. Nestic. But interesting. Sloan would have the more knowledgeable expertise about that. Okay. Oh, of course. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. While they investigate the anti-amnestics, I want to ask Edgar about the log. Edgar, I had a quick question for you. Yes. I was hoping I could see the logs for distribution of amnestics. Well, you're looking at the log right here. The log right here. How's your memory, my friend? Crystal clear. Haven't been amnesticized recently, right? No. All right, so when have amnestics been distributed in, say, the last, I don't know, 24 hours? No. 
No MNAS have been distributed in the last 24 hours. None. I did a count this morning. All my syringes are accounted for. No additional fluid has been drawn. The murder, the murder happened yesterday? Yes. Okay. I heard that you used amnestics on Izzy and Cam. That's ridiculous. And don't you think it's convenient that two people here say they have the exact same symptoms? So how, how did Cam get in the bathroom? Well, I tore him off of Carter's body myself as he was ripping him yep, apart. Yep, fair. And I contained him in the shower. Okay, oh. and he said he woke up in there. So do you think do you think maybe he slipped some amnestics in there? Or? I, why would I use amnestics on the murderer? Well, I, I need to figure out his motive. The idea would, the more likely thing would have been that he was amnesticized somewhere before, and maybe an allergic reaction of some kind. How long do the amnestics take to uh, take effect? Pretty much instantaneously, um, but they last four or so hours, maybe longer than that. You know, it's like, it's like taking like a, a Xanax or something. So if Pam were affected by the amnestics, having forgotten the events of the murder, that means they were administered prior, prior to the murder. Yes. I have two quick questions from the containment hazard assessment team. My first is, were you the only one who moved Cam from the scene to the containment cell? Yes, it was me. Just me. All right, and second... Ed Sloan and Joe supervised me to make sure that the proper containment procedures were in place. And my second is Cam's story that of the post-murder recollection is that they were absolutely covered in blood. Now they're not. Their sweater is quite clean. What is the situation there? Did someone clean him after containment? He's in a shower. <laughs> and not wet. That checks out. That checks out. And not wet. It's been a while. He's dried out, okay? It's a, it's a, Blood's not going to come out of a cream sweater. Come on, fashion baby. <laughs> Listen, maybe he's just very stylish, you know? It's got those, like, flip what my jacket's made out. Water just sort of brushes off of it, you know? But, uh, uh, yes, I broke open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it seems like one. Hang on, so. Okay. You grabbed him. Did it feel like wool? Uh, to be fair, it did feel like wool. Did it open it to a it like wool, or did it roll off when I hit him? If the end is... There's an easy answer to this question. I just have a very quick question. Did you turn on the water in this shower since you've been in there? I saw it laying on the ground and then I gasped the air. And it came out of your sweater this clean. Oh, this this sweater that you're currently wearing has no blood stains on it. And you washed yourself? I think I was to pretty soon after I so maybe it's it's a very light colored sweater to not have any stains at all. What kind of soap do you have in there? I don't see any detergent. Also, what book do you have? Yes, he literally just burned Yes, I'm, I'm checking something else. You know, what your guys got up this morning was not Unfortunately, he's not in my library. Yes. What can you tell me about that book? Wait, I might have a solution to this. A solution apparently, to this? Apparently, from what I was told about the book. Oh, all right, everyone, get in here, get in here. Keep, pin that, pin that. Pin it. Pin it. We'll be back, Cam. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.